Hello, I'm Andy McDonald of Queensland Museum Network and here I am again at Cobb Co Museum in the factory and today I want to talk about something I often get asked about by the public. They want to know what the bearing is inside a wagon wheel. So I thought I'd go through a few samples that we have here and talk about the development of the bearing. The most common one we have is a thing called the box. The first time we've seen anything like this is an illustration in Diderot's encyclopedia from around 1755. There's an illustration of an axle with a cast iron sleeve. Now, we have also seen them in Britain. A guy called John Bassant developed a thing called the male axle. Now, male axles were coach, male coaches. And the problem was they were losing a lot of wheels. They're having a lot of crashes because the wheel was coming away from the axle. So he invented a system with three bolts that go through the hub, and here's an example. Three bolts go through from the outer part to the inside of the wheel, and they hang on to a collar on the axle. And it rotates, and it means that the whole wheel can't come adrift. So that was 1786. These were fairly common. The axle itself is a different matter. The Americans particularly kept going with wooden axles. Our collection doesn't include any vehicles with wooden axles, but that's the type of thing. And these continued in America until the early 1900s. So they had a sleeve on the end called a skine, a thimble skine fitted over the wood and then the box was fitted onto that. So the skine was a sleeve that fitted there and prevented the wood from wearing away. Um, and you can imagine as iron was, and steel was more plentiful, the wooden axle was replaced by iron.